So if you guys watched my last video, in that video I talked about how the universe is always going to try to communicate with you throughout your day on a daily basis. It could be through other people, it could be through numbers, it could be through, you know, leaves, feathers, um, lyrics that you hear inside of a song from a car that drives by or lyrics that you hear inside your headphones and a certain, you know what I'm saying? It, it always communicates with you through so many different things. And I was encouraging you guys to very, uh, to pay attention in your day to day life and really just be more open and be more, be more present in the moment because everything that you see around you is a sign. It may not seem like it. It may not seem like you're being communicated with. On a, It may not seem like it's communicating with you. It may not seem like, all right, this thing in the corner of my room is a sign for me to get up and do it. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, You know, it, to some people, I could see why it doesn't make sense. How, you know, how could that work? But I wanted to give you guys a little testimony. Now, this is something that I went through this past Friday, something that I experienced this past Friday, and I just wanted to just give you guys another example on how the universe is communicating with you on a daily basis, on a daily basis. I mean, if this doesn't convince you that there's, if this doesn't convince you that the universe is trying to communicate with you, then I don't know what will. I, I've done my part. But anyway, so this past Friday, right, I was working from 6 to 2.30, you know, after work, I hit up my friend Deuce, shout out to my friend Deuce, I know he watches my videos, he's a, he's a supporter of my channel, so shout out to him, <clears throat> um, we've grown up together, me and him, so we have a lot of memories together, a great bond, great connection, um, but yeah, I called him up, I'm like, hey, like, let's go do something, I haven't seen you in a while, because mind you, Deuce has not been at work for like, for like two weeks. I haven't seen him at work for a while. You know, that's his own business. I won't share that with y'all. But he was out for a while. Me and him worked together. Um, so I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go somewhere. Let's go do something. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Like, let's just chop it up and chill. So that's exactly what we did. I picked him up as soon as I got off work. And I'm like, yo, I want to go to a record store. Because there's like... Where I live in this area, there's it's everything so scattered out and everything is so far away. So it's very it's very hard to find even just like a mall around here. I mean, there is a mall around here, but even like I'm just all this is saying, like, you can't find nothing out here. There's n like no nightlife. There's no club life which is fine cuz that stuff doesn't resonate with me with me but the record store is all the way out in Philly that's the only record store in this area so I'm like you know what fine fuck it let's go to Philly so we did we went to Philly and you probably have an idea of where this is going pretty pretty rough night so um on the way to Philly we are looking up record stores because we don't know exactly which record store we want to go to. We just know we want to go to one. So he finds a bunch of record stores. We go to the first one. I believe the first one was called Long in the Tooth. I don't know what that means. I don't like even like right now. I'm trying to think what could that be a sign of? What could that what could that name be possibly telling me? But I don't see any significance in that. But but. When we pulled up to that record store, a parallel parked, we jumped out the, we hopped out and the record store was closed. I was like, all right, damn, like, I don't know why it says it's open on its website. And then we go there and it's closed, but whatever, let's just go to the next one. So we get back in the car, me and my friend Deuce, we're sitting there. He pulls up another record store and we go to it. I don't know the name of the record store. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. I have no idea, no idea what's about to happen. And we get to the record store and I park my car on the corner of the street. I park my car on the corner of the street. Please, 
please, please, please, please, for anybody watching, please do not park on the corner of the street. That was the biggest mistake I made, and it ended up costing me a lot. It was an expensive mistake. So we leave, we jump out the car, hop out. I don't know why I keep saying jump out. Hop out the car, we go inside the record store, and we're in there for at least a good 40 minutes. Dude, I'm just so like mesmerized inside of that record store because there's so many different things. There's like pins, there's records, there's t-shirts, there's posters, there's mugs, there's uh, you know, record sleeves, there's there's so many different shit in there, and I'm just like my mind is just like, I can't, like, I can't, it's just too much. I'm focused on one thing and then this thing get, grabs my attention and I move on to this thing. And it's just like there's so many different things in there. But we were in there for like a good 40 minutes and I'm just in there just looking through records, trying to find the best one, trying to find the one that catches my eye the most. And the goal was to get a record that I've never heard of, get a record that I never heard of, never listened to before. And I did just that. So, after 40 minutes of just lollygagging, we saw a lot of good stuff in there. We saw, like, Tame Impala. We saw some um, some Marvin Gaye, some uh, some Lauryn Hill, you know, uh, Most Def, Mob Deep. We saw um, ASAP Rocky. We saw just a bunch of records. I don't want to name all these because that's irrelevant. But when we leave the record store, we go back outside walk into the car and what do you know happens my fucking car got towed it got towed my car got towed and i'm like yo didn't we park here and he's like nah nah man just we we parked a little further and in my head i'm like are you sure we parked a little further because we did not walk this long so we go up a couple streets and that's when we realize <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny that's what i love like eventually terrible memories turn into great ones that's from that's from kevin parker that's his quote but it's always you know it's it, in the moment you're like fuck 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 but in hindsight it's just funny it's it's good to laugh at and it's a good memory but the car gets towed the car gets towed i'm like fuck i'm like fuck we're in the middle of philadelphia it's negative 10 degrees. It's brick out. It's bitter. It's cold. It's cold as balls. It's so bitter. It's like it It was so cold that I was tearing up <laughs> and I, there was like snot dripping down my nose. That's how cold it was. And we're like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, dude, we got to walk. He's like, what? He's like, what? Are you kidding me? We got to walk. We got to walk to the tow place. I'm like, yo. Bro, I I just bought a shit ton of records. My car just got towed. And I got to pay for a lift. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to make us do that. It's very cold tonight. And mind you, that place was like 10 minutes away. 10 minute drive is probably like a, an hour and a half walk. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. We go inside a Mexican restaurant. We sit in there. I call the lift up. Came in in like five minutes. We drive there. And... <laughs> bro when i tell you don't ever get your car towed please don't ever get your car towed because that process is just a pain in the ass dude like you gotta wait in line for so long everybody in there is just nobody knows what they're talking about nobody knows what they're doing and i mean granted like it's a shitty paying job. I understand. I understand those people probably don't want to work there. They probably don't want nothing to do with me or anybody else that's in there. They probably want to go home. They don't want to be there. It's late at night. I get it. But God damn, was that a pain in the ass, man. I was there for like an hour, 30, probably two hours just waiting on me to get my car back. At, at, at one point, I'm like, yo, these guys are just holding my car hostage. I'm never going to get my car back. I'm never going to get my car back. It's, it's not happening tonight. We're going to have to call another Uber or we're going to have to call my friend or something. But thankfully, after just an hour of just waiting and waiting and and fortunately enough, like I actually had a good experience despite how much it costed, despite the expensive mistake, despite 
how cold it was, you know. I had a good experience because the people in there just, they cheered me up. You know, initially I thought, damn, I'm like the only, I'm definitely the only one who got their car towed tonight. I'm an idiot. And I go there and there's just like a whole bunch of people in there. And I'm standing in line and they're like, oh, did you get your car towed too? I'm like, yep, I got my car towed. He's like, oh, what were you doing? I'm like, dude, we were just at a record store looking for records for like 30 minutes and we come back out and her car is gone. And he's like, dude, I was at my friend's house and we were just drinking and I come out after five minutes and my car is gone. And this girl in the left, she's like, yeah, I'm coming from New York. I don't, I don't, uh, she's like, I'm coming from New York. I've never been here before. Uh, literally don't know how it works over here. And I got my car towed. So everybody is just having a rough night and it made me feel better because I don't know if it's misery loves company or because just hearing other people going through the same thing as me just brings comfort because it's like, damn, I'm not the only one going through this tonight. This person's having a shitty night too. So I guess it's misery loves company or just me looking at the positive of life. You know, I'm, I tend to be a half glass full kind of guy. You know, I always like to look at the positives, but Despite that, after that, all that time, after just waiting in line for hours, um, they finally gave my car back after so long. And <laughs> we get in there. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Before I go any further, this is what I wanted to say. This was the sign. This was, this was the main meat and potatoes of the video. So you guys know how I got my car towed, right? We went to a record store. Guess what the record store was called? I don't know if you're going to be able to guess, but the record store was called Repo Records. Repo Records is what the record store was called. That was the record store that we went to that night, the same night that I had to repo my car that got towed. So it's it's funny it's funny. It's it's funny how the universe communicates with you. I should have known right there. I should have known by looking at the 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 name of the store that something was going to happen. But initially, I never was able to make that connection in my head. And this is why I wanted to bring you guys this information. This is why I, I wanted to bring you this perspective. It's not to make you feel like you're not aware enough. It's not to make you feel like you're not present. It's not to make you feel like, damn, am I not noticing signs around me? Am I not getting any signs? Is the universe not talking to me? It's not to make you feel belittled. It's just to make you aware of how the universe communicates with you. I never knew that the record store we went to was called Repo Records. Repo is when you have to repossess something that was taken away from you, whether it was, you know, you didn't pay your car loans or you got your car towed, whatever. They're gonna take the car away from you. And I had to repurchase it. I had to repurchase it. The sign was right in front of me. The sign was right there the entire time. It, would, it gave, the universe literally warned me before it happened, hey, repo something's gonna get repo tonight and i and i wasn't able to i wasn't able to make the connection it totally went totally 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 went over my head i didn't even realize and my buddy didn't even realize either like i told him like two days after i'm on the phone with him i'm like yo bro you want to know the craziest thing about that night the craziest thing that night was the record store was called repo records and we ended up, I ended up having to repo my car that night. So that's what I wanted to present to you guys. That's the message that I wanted to get out. That's my experience that I wanted to share with you guys, because I feel like you guys are not only, not only able to learn from me and my mistakes, don't ever park in Philly, don't ever park in the corner. Please spend the extra minute to find a valid parking spot or parking, per, uh, parking garage, even better. But it's just to also show you how the universe talks to you. Repo Records. It's literally right here, man. Repo Records. And it happened to me. And I didn't see the sign. And I'm not hard on myself. You know, it is what it is. It's, ex it's an expensive lesson that I needed to learn. And I'm glad that I learned it at this age. And I'm glad that... And I told my friend this. If, if there was anybody that I would want to be stuck in this situation with, it would definitely be him because he makes everything better. 
he makes every single situation better. Like, he just makes it more funnier. He makes it more enjoyable. He makes it more tolerable. And, and I'm talking about my friend, dude. Shout out to him again. Um, Is that all I got to say? I mean, if you guys want to see the records that I got, I, I don't know if you guys really care about that. But I got some Teddy Pendergrass. I got Marvin Gaye. Uh, brother, brother, brother. What's going on? And then I got some Isaac Hayes. So I just got like a bunch of 70s R&B. I'm trying to switch up my music taste a little bit more. I don't like to listen to the same things over and over again. I like to branch out, listen to different music. It just helps me like, it helps me expand my consciousness and it helps me expand my taste. And it helps, not, not only does it help me do those things, but it helps me like landmark each chapter in my life. Because last year I was heavy into old school hip hop. Now this year I'm I'm getting more into R and B and soul. So it just helps me landmark those times in my life. But that's all I really gotta say. I don't wanna bore you guys with music. I don't even know if you guys really care about that, but I just wanted to share that story with you guys and how the universe just communicates with you every single day, every single moment, every single sign, every everything, man. It, it's always communicating with you. You just have to be present. Be open to receive, you know, tune that frequency to the right frequency and and retrieve the message. I feel like I feel like you you'll always retrieve like a download before it happens. Not always, not all the time. I don't want to say that. I don't want to give you like a false expectation, but you're going to receive like a clue or a sign right before it happens. And in this case, it was the name of the record store, but I didn't know the name because I never asked what the name was, and that's just what it is. So learn from me, learn from my mistakes, and I hope you guys were able to find some enjoyment in this. Like I said, I mean, eventually terrible memories turn into good ones. No, not hard on myself at all. It is what it is. I'm still young. I'm still learning. I'm still growing, and... If there was a better time for it to happen, I guess why not now, right? So with all that being said, that's all I got for today. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Peace.